Don't use my past mistakes against me. 13 year old actress Mexican Ned says. Um, before this one, Rita Idoche, Don Jazzy, and others react as Regina Daniel calls out colleagues employing minors in Hollywood. But before we proceed, welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we give you trending and latest gist happening in the world of social media. If you have not already, do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like, share, turn the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video. For all our subscribers, much love from us to you guys. Thank you so much for always staying tuned. And for all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy, and stay tuned. Timmy teenager actress Mercy Kenneth has taken to social media to acknowledge the errors of her past. The young movie star who claimed to be 13 years old recently shared a TikTok video of herself in her bathroom. In the clip, Mercy, who appeared sober, is seen singing along to Afrobeat singer Omar Lee's lyrics in his hit single, Damn. I the smoke cigar, I the blue skunk, I know I get boys with the do runs. Capturing the new clip, she wrote, I know I have made mistakes in the past, but please don't use it against me. Moving on to the next one, Nigeria actress Regina Daniel has triggered reaction from colleagues after she called on celebrities and movie producers to put an end to child labor in the entertainment industry. Recall in video share on Instagram, the 22-year-old film star said that Nollywood industry is not a safe place for young girls to work. She recounted how she met a 14-year-old girl on set who worked as a makeup artist without being paid. She added that she was able to put her in one of the best schools in Delta. The mother of two urged movie producers and directors to discontinue and discourage the art of employing minors into the movie popular industry. Nigerian like Don Jazzy, Rita Idoche, Anita Joseph, Uche Lendu, Joyce Carlo, and others shared their thoughts, applauded Regina for speaking up and rendering help to the young girl. Rita Idoche wrote, thank you so much for saving her. I fight like this in any set I see any of them and they know. At times, the person hides for me not to see her and say anything but most of the time, all she has in her head is what she wants to do. That thing in her mind is all she would want to do. Some of them do, but not all, because I know some pulled out. Don't just say thank you. Oh, you care for that. God bless you, Gina. I know what you are talking about. And I actually tried to help but she refused. I even tried to contact her mom but I couldn't too. But I didn't have the means to do more and I'm so happy you met with her. You shall never Most go Most people down. out there do take advantage of this young lady whenever they do come across them. So we have to say no to child labor and keep the industry secure. So guys, after the video, I would like you to hear the comment section. Let's know what you think about this. Let's know what you feel about this. Share your thoughts on the, our comment section. See you guys next time in my next video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. There is something I want to share. It's a story I wouldn't like to share, but I have to. Because there are things that I can't put an end to. It takes a I went to the kitchen and I met a girl. She was wearing a short skirt and a crop top. And then she walked up to me and I was like, Good morning, Nancy. I said, Good morning. to have a really strong mother. A mother that was constantly on my neck, a mother that was feared by lots of people, so they would just give me space. They knew ah, that's Mama Regina's daughter. You know, they all gave me space. So I said, where is your boss? Call him. He came. He was also a young guy. I was like, when did you start working with this girl? He said, the day before. Yes, I think I came in for that.
advantage of them that's what they do some of them I said and then but these celebrities they know what it is to be in the industry they know what they went through because I knew they went through a lot you cannot just come out and you know you, you make it stay there are a lot of people that would want to take advantage of it it takes only the grace of God for you to meet someone straightforward that will just help you to do a thing. I have other crew members around that kept saying, ah, mama, just leave this girl, oh, ah, this, this one, this one, don't go, this one is not even that type of a person you think, just leave them. I looked at her again, she was still looking at me, she was so open, like an open book, she would talk, I said, do you want to go to school? She said, yes, I need to go to school. I took her to one of the best schools in the United States, a boarding school. I didn't care about the cost because I believe every young girl can be made. I'm not helping certain girls because oh, I need them to work for me as an assistant or I need them to do something. I don't need anything from them. The society is bad as it is. And we know that young girls are at the mercy of the society. Guys can defend themselves. But you see the girls, they will forever be at the mercy of the society, the underprivileged ones. So, this girl went to school. Her first test came out. She was supposed to be in Genesis 3, but she couldn't make it in Genesis 3. Because obviously her brain was so polluted with trying to walk, trying to hustle, you know, with various men or people. I asked her a really intimate question. And she still told me, which really broke my heart. I test came out. And she did excellent in She got a total of 90 over 100. And she told me, ah, that's Regina. This was now the first test this girl wrote in Jesus' name. And she did it. 
which means that she really wanted to go to school. There's no opportunity. Why I'm making this video now is because I urge others in it. Thank you. 